Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Louie. That episode is called Daddy for Down. What up, party people, and yeah. welcome! No more Disney Plus pushing the button a whole bunch. To episode 51, 51. of Two Bandits Watching Bluey. That's us. Whew. For the last year, I have been your host, with Greg Painter. Some of the most. And yes. with me celebrating our paper anniversary is the one and only. Are we there? We are there! I go by Mike Martin, also a host, because we host this. Podcast. We do, and we have for one year. Happy Blue Anniversary, oh. Michael. I can't get teary eyed already, man. This episode gets me in weird spots every now and then. That sounded very peculiar, but it, 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 this, yes, this is, a, this is a happy little episode. But it's, it's a happy little moment. We have been. It's on my calendar. I have it written down. Blue anniversary, and it, it it's surprisingly involving us. <laughs> so it's go figure. It's been go a figure. year. It has been a heck of a year of doing this. Between the, you... the awesome fans uh, of both Bluey and this podcast, thank you. The cool people we've talked to, the fun experiences that we've had. Just like the, the random people saying, hey, I listened to your podcast while I was in the NICU with my kid. And this helped us get through a rough experience. <sighs> the, the, the things like that just make all this worth it. Being able to see your beautiful face once a week makes this worth it. I personally would like to come out and apologize for how many times you had to listen and hear my high-pitched laugh and how many times that you got to listen to Greg sing and serenade you throughout the past year. It's never, been great. Never apologize for being your beautiful self, Mike. I think the the uh, the, the, the Oscar ceremony is going to start playing the music if you continue to think. It probably is. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this intro and put it to bed then okay okay that'd be well, can I, you help I would me? prefer mom doing that uh, I have bad news oh no it's time for daddy put down king of transitions still come on <laughs> but we can't do that yet king you know of why transitions that would make merch you know why why because we can't do anything until we find out what our friends at Wiki Blue had to say about this app hey Greg yeah it sounds sad but what's a daddy put down. When mom goes out to a baby shower, dad mm. takes charge of the girl's evening routine. But with Bluey missing mom, dad has to pull out all the games he knows to keep them entertained. Dad knows way more games than you think. I, this <laughs> is only the beginning. He only plays like two games, but we'll, we'll get there. Sorry, not sorry, but he, there are some games that, that Bandit knows that he, that he pulls out in this one that you don't see before. So, you know what? That's fine. You know what else you see in this one? What? Those big muscles. Guns Mahoney, bandit. We're Just... not We're not starting with a cutaway of the house. We are in the front yard. I kind of love those kind of episodes that it just jumps says, right into it. Boom. Guess what? You can you can get the pan to the healer household, but today we're going. We're there. We got Bingo in dad's arms. We got <sighs> Bluey looking a little I think little I long in the face. I think I could still do that with Thin. I think I could still do the arm carry on the side. He's getting... Ooh, I, <laughs> I I don't know if I could. I'll say that much. I'm not going to doubt you, my friend. I mean, I'll take him off the bus today and see what happens, but I, I don't think so. So you know what? I'm, all, I'm... all I know is for Disney, Liv decided that she did not want to walk very much when we went uh -huh. to Disney World. So 104, 105 degree heat. Beth and myself were carrying that young lady. Okay. Well, Most all turns... places. <laughs> I'm talking about across we're the not... street, dude. Talking... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so it's night time ish right is it it's it's dusk it's it? early evening and that brings me into my first huh yes okay cool we're who, all over the place here who has a nighttime baby, baby shower? shower and i even said to carrie i was like man it, like she has a gift so she's clearly going so and i was like is it more like a bachelorette party kind of vibe or? <laughs> that's kind of what it felt like more to me but i don't see why they would flub what it was right I mean, hey, hey australia what time does the sun set over there <laughs> is it is it 2 p.m and she's no I, but she has the gift and and you know chili says it's it's daddy put you know daddy put down also really quick and we still don't even use it even though we use a lot of phrases from bluey I have never used put down as a no. child bedtime phrase. I, I like daddy drop off. That, that makes more sense. Daddy yeah. put down. Daddy put down sounds like, hey, kid, you stink. It's, it's, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I, Sick burn. I, I talk more about like 
pets and like oh oh dear <laughs> oh no in my head it's like time to put them down i'm like i don't oh. like that term oh dear that, that's oh. also bad so but that's that's fine that's fine i'm excited because this episode is the end quote unquote of season one correct because they have a little gap before they do veranda santa they correct. like when they originally released yes well, this is Veranda Santa. Don't don't try to jump the gun on bracket okay. time. We okay. got Veranda Santa still. It's still part of the season. Yes. Okay. It's still part of the brackets, but this is the conclusion of season one before in they the, had the little time lapse before Veranda Santa, right? I maybe. I think yes it and? is. I have a, I have a reason why I think that. So that's that's cool. Kind, kind of you're saying kind of. So they did that kind of similar how um, they put out the Father's Day episode for season three and then waited like two months and then the rest of season three. Hopped, yes. and jumped out. Yes, we we just live in a life of Disney Plus and do, getting all the episodes at once. Do you so. do you want to say your theory, or are you saving it for later? I kind of am saving it for later. So we'll get back to that. Ooh, get excited. But yeah, Chili's leaving for the nighttime Bingo. baby shower. For the nighttime baby, Bingo's just whatever, enjoying being pretend dropped by Dad. Mm-hmm. Bluey not feeling it. Okay. Bluey is bummed. She Bluey is, is downtrodden. Yes. Um, Why does this have to happen to me? Who's gonna put me to bed? Holy small violin like play the world's smallest violin for well, blue watch, this. i watch, get it watch how much you pick on bluey right now because i'm about to say okay this is my girls yes i can this see is that. my girls it, and it doesn't have to necessarily be beth leaving it can be me leaving too sure and and it's not usually that sad mm-hmm. but there's a lot of you're going you're you're going to uncle mike's to play D D tonight right it, mom it, you're going to bowling i like oh i'm gonna wait in the yard and wave to you and make sure you wave back. You gotta make sure. And Liv is like, "Okay, bye." <laughs> She's the bingo. See you. It's it's the same appreciation that I have for the beach episode. I, I think there aren't un- enough moments, I guess, because everyone's like, "We should be try. We should try to be like Bandit." But Chili in this episode, it shows that the appreciation exists for Chili because it's like, I don't want Mom to leave. And you see Bluey just really depressed about it. I I hope Bandit does put in some effort in (laughs) put-downs. Yeah, hopefully it's not 100% all the time. Just when Chili's not there, I guess it's my turn, but... (laughs) And I know for for a fact, Beth is much more fun bedtime parent. I am. We are going to read the book. We are going to be done with the book. I am going to leave. And we're going to go downstairs and have our evening. And Beth can get sucked in with like, let's just cuddle for five more minutes. Sure. So there, there's a lot of, do I got mom or dad tonight? He's like, you've got me. He's like, oh. I'm a cuddler. Okay. Don't worry. So. <laughs> you look like a cuddler. Aww, that big that... bushy beard. I can't help it. The oops drop game. Oh, like... boy. I was a... That was next time my little notes. Good, good. It. It, like this episode is a very I see a l- Finn plays a lot of the games that occur in this episode so but the Oops Drop game is just a game you play with a kid in general like this isn't a learn from Bluey per se one and I, I enjoy playing that game a lot with him it always has been the case and I have never gotten have you ever, the, the have you prob- ever dropped? Uh, no, no I've okay. never dropped I was gonna say I never got to the point that Bandit does where he drops and goes ooh and looks down he's like we're not gonna play that game anymore <laughs> He envisioned it. Bingo down. Ju- Mom, I don't think she's left yet either. She's just about to. Oh. That's a, the favorite last thing to see right before leaving for a night away is your the, the, there has already been an episode, almost dropping your child. There's already been an episode called Hospital in this season. Well, so we don't need another one. Well, thank good. We definitely don't need another hospital this season. We don't know yet. We haven't re, 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 revisioned the episode. We haven't gone back to it. Are we going to though? We'll see. We'll see. It's getting close, man. We should Don't probably worry. just announce it. And... I'll give you a kiss when you get home. I won't feel it though if I'm asleep. You will. Remember that. It's going to be important. I'm there. I'm listening. You are. That's I wasn't good. listening, but I'm listening. <laughs> Who's Is gonna it? put us to dad bed? Daddy put down. Hooray! Uh, oh well, just sadness. What's fun about it? Well, no, I don't think it happens in this part. It happens It happens later. But Bandit does say hooray in the same way. He raises his hands and says it like the kids. Like, it feels like he's he's trying to he's gain. He's doing extra hard. He's trying to win Bluey over. He doesn't need to do extra hard, but he is. He's, he's trying to rope them back in saying, it's all good. We're, I, I'm here. Like, remember everything I've been doing the past 51 weeks of this show? I got you. I got you. <laughs> what should in we case do? you didn't know. What should we do? We should ring Mom and ask her to come back. Oof. So... In a weird way, because we haven't gotten to season two yet, and we haven't done Sleepy Time, is this Bluey's version of Sleepy Time because she's more, I don't want to say more, more mature, I guess you could say? Is this her her 
Because you're not going to see a sleepy time for Bluey. You're not. No. Kind, you kind of do in, well... Well, in Fruit Bat? A little bit, maybe? A little, little bit in Fruit Bat. I was actually going to say more rain. I know it's not yeah. sleeping, but the whole thematicness of it. But you're mm-hmm. just talking about sleepiness. Yeah, I am talking about sleepiness. And it's okay to go to bed. It's okay for Dad to put you to bed. Like, it's okay to be... Use your big girl bark or use your big girl yawn, if you will. Ooh. Hashtag big girl yawn. Hashtag big girl yawn? That's going to be in the notes. <laughs> So it's game time. Distraction. It's going to play follow the leader. That's where he says hooray. Because Bandit hooray. does say hooray and he raises his arms like the girls. And it's something he's seen in them for the past how many episodes. So he's like, hooray! And he says it with excitement because he's encouraging them to just go to bed, I think. But Kid, not yet. Kids are all about it, too. Follow Magnificent Leader off to a better tomorrow. In oh, So in the background of the, the beginning of it, it made me super happy because there's a framed photo of Bingo having her birthday party. And there's a cake and there's candles. And it's super cute. And then right next to her, kitty corner to it, it's just a photo of Great Answer. Just, and yeah. I think it's OG Great Answer. We've um, like SeaWorld Great Answer. Yes. I think we've hit this before. <laughs> that uh, I, I My theory is that... Picture was taken on the same trip that Grey Dancer was bought well, at whatever. That is Grey Dancer. What do you mean, Greg? Oh, that's right. That is Grey Dancer. How dare you? The music in this situation. So this is a Joff Bush moment. Sorry. But the, the follow the leader music, uh-huh. I love it very much. And they do like a whole transition into it being Kitty and all that kind of stuff when the chaos kicks in. The song, I couldn't think of it. And so I was sitting here when I was watching the episode. Oh. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. and I did my research. No, I found it. Of course I found it. Oh, let's see if we found the same thing then. You go first. Are you talking about the Finculi Finucali? If... <laughs> I, can't, I am not Italian by any means. But it's it's one that that's, you see in commercials and you hear it here and there. But it's a song that that is about the, uh, the, the, the announcement, I guess you could say, of a cable railway system that was in Italy that... Why are you just blanks? Nope. You're wrong. Bull hockey. Incorrect. Don't you dare. Here, here it is. Right here. Here's what the song is based off. And it will always be for my childhood oh, what gosh. the song is. So it's. song mike oh yeah oh that's what it was the ori- oh that was the original creation yeah, of that it was, that was the og and then the italian person you're talking about ripped them off sorry luigi denza but joff bush clearly pulled it from the grape escape joff <laughs> if by chance in any way you're listening that'll be a question that we will ask that's him the grape escape song right yeah of course <laughs> oh, no. you, you oh. and your facili facciali crescenzo italiano <laughs> Whatever. Um, I, hey, side note, that game was horrible. Uh, Bought it based on the commercial. Oh, I thought you meant follow the leader. I'm dunk. like, it's a pretty easy game, it's dude. Dunk out loud. <laughs> Not gonna follow the leader, but it's a game that Finn adopted from Bluey very quickly. He yeah. just he would just show up and be like, Dad, follow the leader. And I'm like, okay, and he would sing the same tune. He would sing it. So shout out to Grape Escape. Not a sponsor. Maybe yet. yet. <laughs> Relaunch. Oh no! I was about to say Bluey escape, but then guess what? You'd like stomp the grapes and like murder them, basically. Maybe not Bluey theme. I don't know nothing Maybe about not grapes escape. So. Oh, we'll play one day, friend. <laughs> cool. No, we wait. won't. We definitely won't. Oh, kids! Um, while they're following the leader, they run away from leader. They do hide from the leader. Yes. United, we are strong, and they <sighs> run, some crash on the something. couch. <laughs> I love so with the time of day because you do get a lot of daytime Bluey. And it's fun to have like dusk bluey or early morning bluey because you get like those those shots That's of just funny. the sun coming in. Yeah. And you just like 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 I said in the other one of the other episodes, it was teasing, I think, where you see the the, the things floating in the sky because it's morning time and you just the sun's hitting a different way. It's not direct. It's just it's dusk. And it's just they do it so well. So the sun, cool. the sun hitting the side of the fruit with the ladybug crawling all over. Oh yeah, that ladybug. That ladybug gets around. They everywhere. Oh man. One, two, Three. Love love the literally overreacting to the game. 
Because Bingo or Bluey gets the the boo, uh huh, and Bingo just arms back, leaning in, screaming as loud as humanly possible. Mom's not here, but that's cool because I'm going full Bingo. Bingo is on tilt. The the planter when they're leaving playing follow the leader before they get in the backyard. It, I have a question about that. It has that doggo face. You know what I mean? Like, but it's just it's a nose, eyes, and just that little twirl of of a face, mm-hmm. and it's on the planter in there. But you see it consistently throughout the show, and I feel like it's it's their version of like a pet dog or or a younger dog, or is it like a cartoonized dog? Is it like a chia pet dog? It kind of yeah, yeah. It has that look to it. And I'll even like pause the pod for a second at fifteen eighteen. It's it's the same face you see on every. It's on on uh, the so the gnomes in Hammer Barn. It's like branding Ben. Yeah, that uh, face right there. You see that on so many things, and I don't know if it's a if they're if it's trying to be a dog or it's trying to be a cat. I don't think it's a cat. It looks like it's a dog face, doesn't it? It's a flower pot. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> am, am I paying way too much attention to Bluey or, or not? Okay, this is one of those too many moments. <laughs> I wonder what's in that. Well, time stamp us so our, our uh-huh. good friends know what's, what's in. Have... No, no, no. The oh, episode. in the episode. If you want to see what Mike is talking about, go 616. to six sixteen. Six sixteen yeah. in the episode. Left hand side. I might even make this the fo- photo for the episode. There you go. What's Boom. in that box? What? Hey, Mike. What's in the box? What's it? Whoa. <laughs> There's a trunk under one of those plants too. That looks very intense. That. I, I think that's a no kids allowed box. That's a. That is a good way to keep kids out. Put a heavy plant. On maybe top of the box. maybe that's where Ch- more... that's where Chili went during Stump Fest when she was having a couple beverages. That's where they. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's the liquor cabinet box. <laughs> that's a much smaller liquor cabinet box than I think is in either of our homes. But anyway, it's all it's all the. Good I digress. Stuff. We all, we cannot digress. We will never digress. Grape escape. I can't even. Still sad though. Winded bingo is so cool. <laughs> What's that? What? Winded bingo after oh. the boo is so cool. Oh, winded. <laughs> <laughs> but game over mm. again. Now we need a break. Uh, so Bluey's sad again. Uh, that's right. The magnificent maybe, leader can't handle anymore. Maybe that game wasn't swingy enough. Such a so he is not king of segways. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my note. Is smooth bandit. Good job, dude. Because he's just lying on the ground. He's looking around. So he could have been like. Oh, it's not sheddy enough. We're going to hang out in the shed now. <laughs> so come here, go away. You guys play come here, going away? 100%. Yeah. Dude, we, a ton, too. A ton, a ton, a ton. I don't think I realized it was from this until much after we started playing it. Right. And you're just like, oh, okay, it is. Because when we would take him to the playground to get him ready for kindergarten, he's just like, let's play glow away. go away. And like, oh, yeah, let's do it. And, it's just, and I like that game because you get a laugh every time. You have to be, you have to be quick. And say something, otherwise you're just, boom, What uh, Norman, just pushing your kid and exactly. smiling, or Norman. you can play Go Away. <laughs> no name Norman. <laughs> We've got stuff. But Go Away is a huge thing for Finn. He loves it, because he giggles every time. He's Every, every he's, single time. Because mm, well, he's, he's winning by not doing anything. <laughs> that's true, too. I, I wonder, you can't keep me away, father. Have your kids fallen off the swings before? <laughs> I from, asked that from from, from that game or in life. in that game no sure yeah no <laughs> not during the game no okay cool but the, the, there's been a beef <laughs> I'm trying to think I think Emily may have once okay. like tumbled back off of a swing but I I don't nothing nothing tragic Finn's done a going backwards kind of not having his arms enough on the the railings and and full went. Full you're, beef, you but he's are scared. Your swing scares the heck out of me because oh, that one? I one day that tree is going to break. <laughs> I think it every now and then, but then I sit it myself so that way if I do it, it'll be okay. We we have a, a swing that's basically like a tire swing, but it pulls down and it's a a circular almost I don't know hammock esque. It's a circular swing. I don't know. He he sits in it and it's it, but he's, he sits in it and the tree goes ar, ar, a little bit and then I'm like uh oh and so I'll sit in it. And, ar, it can it can handle the weight. This is some great sound effect. Good foley work. That's what I'm doing. Hey yeah. hey hey, bluey people. We yeah. can do the foley work. We don't have to have voice rolls. We can just yeah. yeah. Every oh, single time opening. that we get ready for an episode, slam noise. Really that's loudly. Door we got this. We got this. Anything. Oh. Background character foley work. Swing game. Whatever. That's a that's a I th- that's not a game. He's just spinning them in the swing and. Yeah, he pushes them a little bit, and then he starts spinning them to... Spinning... Well, because Bluey's sad again. Well, yeah. 
And I'll call her and tell her to come back home. Mm. He's not calling. Of course he's anybody. not. He's doing full on phone to face. Exactly. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. It's ringing. She's been looking for it for this such a while. I don't understand. Why do you want to watch a stinky baby have a shower? It's, it's, it's oh, ringing. Love, 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 love how the kid's like, Dad, you know that's not. I, I love, because my kids do that too because I am a goofball. Sure. I love when they call me on my nonsense. Sure. It's like, you know better. That's your father. <laughs> you know what a baby shower you is. You should be having the wise knowledge that is just, just making us progress as human beings. How dare you mock us? You and that's friends. what he's doing. He's... My friends go in town to give a baby a wash. Sure. There's presents? For who? Of course. <laughs> love. Oh. They get presents, bibs, and rattles. They play games like Guess the Baby and Lady Obstacle, Pregnant Lady Obstacle Course. Pregnant, pregnant Lady Obstacle Course will be, probably be, won't ever be a bandit bet in some fashion. Like buying a, you a never know. Buying a giant belly ball at a Walmart and we have a Pregnant Lady Obstacle Course. You're not, don't you never say never. <laughs> Did you, think you were, did you think you were going to squirt some sauerkraut down your gullet ever we, as part of a bad bet? We? Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. I think, I it's think ringing. there's something that's... Oh, no, no, you're still going. Cool. So we're still on the swing, right? We're still on the swing. Bluey's having second thoughts about calling because she Regrets. thinks she might have a game. She's real. She might have a game. But you sounds like you have something before we get off the swing. Well, I think this is a segment that they, they do cut from Disney+. Plus. Because I think that one of them, I don't know if it is Bingo or Blue because it wasn't on the episode, asks, hey, Dad, where do babies come from? And then he says, oh, game's over. And he unleashes the swing and they start spinning. And it's a line that's cut from the Disney Plus version of it because I don't think they ask it in ours. Well, and, and you bring that and up because you see that he's like spun that all around. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching it the first time through. It's like, oh, I thought it had been a great sight gag of just Whee! Bingo flip flat around. But they come back to the sight gag because after Bingo's done setting up everything in the house mm-hmm. to have her own baby shower, Blue. you see after Bluey goes in the house to set up her own baby shower, we double back to Bingo. And at first I thought, oh, Bingo's doing Bingo things, eyes all crossed and wandering, rumbling around. No, she just got unspun uh-huh. in a hard way. And that's, that's why, why she's acting that way. Snowdrop comes in all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Snowdrop. This is third appearance yes. Snowdrop. Yes, it is. It's, Super excited. Are you starting to feel better now about the fact that it's just a put-on makeup voice? Okay. Bud. Yes. Four-year-olds are smarter <laughs> than I give them credit for. Shout out to Blue or Bingo, and kudos for a, maintaining a sweet reoccurring character. I didn't know there were at least five characters in the Healer household because Snowdrop is now a member of the Healer household. She's very much so. Is she Snowdrop Healer? Ooh. I or think she's. She... I think she's like Cher. Just one name. <laughs> she's just Snowdrop. My just bad. Snowdrop. <laughs> I've got to oh. go to the baby shower. Yeah. Okay. No, you have to be sad. This gave this gave me some copycat vibes. Yes. Because Bluey had to act out her feelings to feel better. 100%. I mean, Both. She, she gets the stuffies all set up. She even puts the, the fox, the the, be- the the stuffy in the fox's belly. Yes. So an actual she plops it in there. lady. And, and it's it's a good, it's a, it, it shows that age bracket of what where Bluey is because that's how she processes things. Is she's understanding what's going on with just her mom, why she's not there. But in order to do so, she needs to recreate it. That exactly. way, she makes it. It's tangible for her. So it's a, it's a good it's a good it's a good little. Just it, it's not a parenting thing. It's how a child processes things. Exactly, and it makes a parent understand that's why my kid is processing it that way. So again, a show for <laughs> parents. Gotta love it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late to the baby shower. Let's start, and it's montage time. Who doesn't love oh, a good bluey, a good bluey musical montage. montage? Oh man, we've got Big O helping Dad pop the heads off crawfish. Is that crawfish or scrimpies? Like it's there. I'm maybe sure. They look more like shrimp when it's done. Mm-hmm. I prawns don't... maybe. Sure. Yeah. It I, that's not a daddy put down meal in my book. We um, have like chicken nuggets and ramen. Most daddy put down well, nights. Well, I think this our is kids where... are not touching a scrimp. Okay, that's where it's kind of cool because maybe they do have nuggies or something like that, but maybe it's just mom's away, so it's daddy dinner time too. He gets to have a dinner that only he would have. Like that's something Carrie would do is have 
shrimp for dinner just like shrimp and shrimp and shrimp like shrimp on shrimp bread with shrimp toast and i don't know but like, i'm not a big shrimp guy fried so. shrimp <laughs> butter shrimp scallop shrimp she would be bubba, bubba gump just <laughs> going ham on it because i think it's a meal that chili wouldn't have very often so he's like either eat it if you want or not i got some nuggets where if you want them and they seem excited for it they set the table for three Love that, man. It's cute. But back and forth, we're we're going back and forth from getting dinner ready. Mm -hmm. Very much loved um, bingo being used as the rag to clean up the flower spill. Bingo on on floor. It better be a bath night. Otherwise, (laughs) bingo is going to be a mess for a while. Could still be the weekend. It could be. I don't know. We'll find I, out. I, you would hope. You would hope that we're not having a nighttime baby shower on a weekday. Well, like we said, is it seems like a lot of the episodes are weekend based. It feels that way. Even though yeah. every episode is not called the weekend, all of the all the things that get it, they're not taking the the kids to the dump on <laughs> on Tuesday. Probably not, unless it's summer vacation. It seems like it's always. Does it summer have vac- summer vacation in Australia? Hey Australia. Hey hey. hey I'm not, I'm just hey Kim. Thank you for answering like eight of our questions Shout about out. about the purple trees, Kim Peterson. No hesitation. Just lightning quick speed. But things. just rocking with the answers for all the things that we needed to know. So you are the bomb.com. So hey, 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 bomb.com? hey, hey, Australia slash Kim Peterson. What's, what's up with summer vacation? Is that a thing? Is that not a thing? So it, do they here, have year round school here in upstate do, New York? We do have, they go to school? We have school from September. Do they just about know things? December. And there's about a two week vacation. Mike's and then they go from January till beginning of June. And then there's summer vacation. Yeah, so how's that? How's that, how's that laid out? Vacation. Huh? Mm. That's why I'm asking our good friend Kim. I'm just Mike. Laying out what we have over here. That way we can correlate. Line up our calendars. And that way when we do cross podcast discussions, we know where their calendars line up. That's all. So yeah, wiping wiping bingo. I think it's the weekend. That's all I'm saying. Bluey leaves <laughs> yes. the party. Off to dinner. Oh. It's bedtime o'clock. We've got a lovely quarter moon. Mm-hmm. So that means just one bin tonight, right? It's always bins. No, there's there no bins on that nighttime. If you go back and look at it, at the, at the nighttime view, there are no bins in front of that house. Oh, no. We haven't gotten there yet. I don't know that. I just talked about the moon. <laughs> okay, one second after they show the moon, they show the front of the house with mm-hmm. no bins. Are there bins? No. Oh. <laughs> Mom is home. I like... Quietly walking into the house. So the episode didn't start with showing the house, but it ends with her showing, pulling into the house with the, the high beams going... Not the high... I hope you don't have your high beams going there, Chili. <laughs> into a cul-de-sac? Come on. Chili can't drive. <laughs> But she shows up, and it's it's the end of the episode. So it's not the beginning of the episode at all. It's the end. And then you got, you know, all the lilies in bed. All Everyone's in bed. Everyone's in bed. We, and we, I said, remember, we mm. get that kiss to Bluey, mm-hmm. a little smile. Because mm-hmm. she felt it. She might not have been awake. But but again, that that is my sleepy time vibe. Remember, I'm always here for you. See? Even if you don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I was right from the beginning. See? Shout oh, out, Mike. Kurt. Oh, Kurt. <laughs> I'm used to hearing that okay so many times over the past year that it's just callous to me, just so you know. And lovely ending of just fading back, mm-hmm. banded on the floor, chilly giving the big smile, and just just, mm. just the loving pet. So like, I love you. Good dad. Well, this is where I'm going to have my two seconds soapbox moment, I guess, is because this is technically the end of the season then, right? Sure, that's according to you. Yes, I mean, you've never. Pre- this is supposed to be. Wrong. This is supposed to be the end of season one before they have Randa Santa down the road, and then the first episode, the pilot episode, technically was the, the weekend. weekend. The music that plays at the end of this episode is the same music that plays at the end of the weekend. Really? So they bookend each other, being, "Hey, this is Bluey. This is how it all starts." And then you have the whole season that happens, and you see all the greatness that Bandit is. I think, and I'm getting chills slightly thinking about it. I think the pat on the head is Chili being like, "You did a good job, Bandit," and she pats him on the head. And the music from the weekend plays at the end of this episode. These two are holding this whole season. You see the whole arc of the greatness that is the Healer family, and that's her saying, "We can go to bed now." Oh, look at you feels. go! <laughs> I'm I'm checking your work, and you're at we uh, season one started October first, twenty eighteen. Episode a day until you get to the 26th episode mark. Then it comes back in April Mm -hmm. of 2019, April 1st, 2019. Episode a day ending with this one. And then December 12th, 2019, 
we got Veranda Santa. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking no, about we're that not. next week. Oh, but well, that, oh, that it made me so happy because it just they pay so much attention to the show. I love I love just details and the details, and that's just so it starts with a leaf bug, mm-hmm. ends with a ladybug. Oh, see, dude, and I rewatched the weekend today just to to prove the like it mentally prove the point, and that music carries very similar in both episodes. Gave me good feels. Um, one this, thing I did take from the weekend, and I'm not going to do it in a huge way, but they do call fake dollars in Blue World dollary dues. They talk about that in the weekend. So I think dollar bucks are the actual currency that exists in real life in the Blue World, and dollary dues are their fake money. I don't know if we talked about it in that episode, <laughs> but Bingo brought it up, and I'm like, what the heck's a dollary do? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So beauty in the details. Mwah. Gotta Just love it. There's beauty in a lot of things, and there's beauty in knowing, hey, Mike, Yeah. what's your favorite thing today? My favorite thing was bingo saying boo. The end. <laughs> it's just, every time I watch it, I watch it like five times today. Bingo didn't say boo. Bingo said boo. Because oh. she got like, oh, I did it. There's <laughs> just this bit of confidence and just long capacity of bingo is ridiculous. And it just, ah, uh, because Blue is just still trying to find her fun. And bingo through and through in the entire episode, just like, yeah, mom's gone. Boo! <laughs> so that was my favorite thing in this episode. Greg, Yo. what you got for your favorite thing today, man? My favorite thing was Bandit pretending to not know what a baby shower is. Oh. Just, it was just silly. And it was, it was a known distraction. He knows what a baby shower is. He Does knows he? Bluey's right <laughs> at the edge, though. So I'm going to do another funny thing. And hope that funny thing turns into the next fun thing Mm -hmm. that can keep her going. And it worked. And again, that's very much a me moment of pretending not to know something that I clearly do. So the kids can correct me and just give me the, dad, you know (laughs) what we mean. Do you think that he was kind of placating, not placating them, but kind of going for lighter games to ensure that bedtime was going to happen sooner rather than later? I guess you could say. You know what I mean by that? Because follow the leaders in my head at tops. A four and a half minute game. Well, it's only a seven minute episode, so that helps. <laughs> okay. But then swing on the swing, it can go for about a half hour, seven minute episode. Like it's he's not, they're not they're not playing taxi. Gotcha. You know? It's not things like that. So do you think he was doing a limited style of gaming? And that's why he was kind we'll of call it a limited style, but we're saying these are the ones that we've like adopted a bunch of them. So this oh, is no. uh, hands down game this... smorgasbord. Yes, I'll hands take down. It. This is one of the most used game episodes from Bluey that Finn uses. So that's where I got to go. But Greg, yeah. I need to know with all that chaos and all of the game creation, who is your favorite character? Go with the flow, chaos bingo. She <sighs> didn't Same. give any. Gonna... She didn't give any toots about anything. She was just there, living her best life. Yes, which is funny when we see in a. a couple months we'll have the bingo episode right seeing bingo now so this tells me in my head this episode must be before the bingo episode yes before bingo learn or excuse me after the bingo yes. episode before so bingo learned how have to, her own fun yeah because she the, not only is she like big old muscle man like every single moment she's just trying to have fun in that moment and bluey's learning her lesson of where's mom what pink was just and the and the older you get, the more you feel your feels, and I think that's a little bit too. Bingo's too little to realize that she misses mom. Sure. When are you gonna start feeling your feels? I don't think you've got. I feel them every day. Oh, do you? Every moment of my life, friend. Okay. When you leave, I I, I turn into Bluey from this episode. So. Hey, Mike. Yeah. How do you rank this lovely episode? I even though Bingo is my favorite character, um, I do have to rank this one one magnificent leader from Follow the Leader because Follow Bandit. The- Follow, Does, follow the leader. Ju- I mean, I give you kudos for juggling. That's the way you do dub- when you play the Great Escape. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I give you credit in juggling the, the double child situation. And I think there are moments like that, nights like that. And I'm not saying I don't like my chili being around. But having a night where it's boys night or, you know, just, just me and the Lily. It's so fun because you get to experience it in a way that, you know, it's just it's just you and the littles. And it's it's so fun. And one magnificent leader playing father leader, it could have been an hour doing that. And it's, it's just, I love it. I love it. So still somehow I gave it to Bingo, even though I'm shouting out Bandit. <laughs> Go look at me. Greg, how in the world do you even try to encompass trying to figure out how he ranks? How do you rank the episode of Bluey? I Did rank, put down? I rank this one three lovely ladybugs. Scampering all over the place. Aww. Is that how many there were in this episode? That's how many I counted, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was delightful. We had we had Orange Ladybug, we had Swing Ladybug, and we had Credits Ladybug. Okay. It was I'll delightful. Take... I'll oh. take it to think. 
you, there he everybody. Is. Whew. One year doing this. Oh my god! Appreciate dude. you so much. <laughs> if you're not following in on the fun, at watching Bluey on Twitter, get there. Follow at, us. You won't. At watching Bluey Pod on TikTok. That's us. Send us your stuff. Watching Bluey at Gmail. Takes thoughts, opinions, audio, whatever. If we offend you, let us know. We're up for anything. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Okay, yeah. Hopefully we did. Bit.ly slash 2BWB Pat Patreon. Yes. We've got a couple dropping here very soon. Yes, indeed. I think we're up to like 14 now? We're after this week? Building up. We're, we're operating Building at great speed here, folks. Two dollar bucks for 14 episodes of Delight. Do it. You won't. Price is going up in like 16 years, so get on board. <laughs> Maybe. Buy our merch. The beautiful creations that Mr. Mike Aww. made with our buddy Rajman. Bit.ly slash 2BWB swag. All the links are right on our Twitter. Just hop on there and click a button. It's way and, easier. And Mike said we should announce this, so... You know what? By gosh, by golly, let's announce a thing that we're Ooh. doing. Way back when. Way, way back, back when. when. About a year ago. About plus a two year weeks. Ago, we, we did Banditober, and we, we, we were just trying to head esteem our, our podcast. We were super excited about it, so we jumped into it, and we posted two a week. Two episodes a week. Not exactly as easy when people are actually hanging out with us now. And so we have said many times, and I'm just going improv here, so Greg might might give me a weird stare, but we, we've said many times that like a fine wine, we we age and we get better we with can, age. We, we found our footing. So we, we found a, a rhythm. We, uh, we rush through a couple of the early episodes more than we would nowadays. So we kind of sort of think that uh, we, we, I mean, there were some follies in the beginning of the episodes, but they're still worth listening to, to learn why we say what we say. So we're going to end this band at Tober. We're doing first four episodes of Blue. Re- oh, take two for yeah. six. We're doing six. Nope. Okay. We're doing the first six episodes of Bluey. Remastered. Redux. We're going to rewatch. Two bandits watching Bluey remastered. We are going to give you the details you didn't get the first time around. For episode one through six, there wasn't an Aussie plug. No Aussie plug. How in the world could you have an episode without an Aussie plug? So we're going to do that. That is going to be a special app coming out every Thursday in October. We're going to see a lot of each other the next couple months, my friend. Listen to it or don't listen to it. That's a thing. But like looking at the, when we look at statistics. Listen to it. We tell people not to listen. Well, no, no. I'm just saying when I look (laughs) at, when we look at stats of people listening to our show, Magic Xylophone is one of the most listened to episodes. And sometimes it scares me a little bit because... (laughs) We're not we're not in that that level of where we are now, conversational and not scared to talk to the world. And hey, friends, we appreciate you listening. Thank you yeah. so much. So we're gonna redo those episodes the same way that we are doing this episode because yeah. we deserve with our swaggertastic fun times. Swaggertastic fun times. Yes, nailed it. Speaking cool. of swaggertastic Great. fun times, uh huh. Lastly, uh huh. And most importantly, of course, if you hmm a swing. Need supplies Shrimp. for your baby shower. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> Go to the Unique Party Shop in Ooh. Summer Park, Queensland. They have supplies for every type of party. Okay. Be it baby, be it a hens and bucks night, which apparently is bachelor party and bachelorette party in Austin. Hens Lod. and bucks. Dig it. They also have over 300 type of helium balloons they can give you, Mike. <laughs> That's so many balloons. You could have taken a breath in the middle of that sentence. 300. <laughs> Check them out at uniquepartyshop.com. Oh. Dot AU. You scared me again. It's I... what I do for 51 weeks, now 52, full year calendar Happy of fun. Happy one year, my friend. Holy cow, we did it. We did it, and we're going to do it again next week, but until then. Until then what? It's got to be done. It's got to be done.